Welcome to this week's Lower Phase Assembly with myself, Mrs Levin. Today is Monday the 8th of February. I hope you're all staying safe and keeping well at home. I am in the green zone today. I'm feeling okay, I'm not too bad. Um, I know full well that being in the green zone means I'm in the optimum zone for my learning, my work day ahead. Which zone are you in? If you're not in the green zone, what tools may help you get into that green zone so that you're ready for your learning and you're focused? Our check in this morning or this afternoon, depending when you're watching this video, would you rather have a robot or a dragon as a pet? I think I'd rather have a robot, a robot rather, only because he would then be able to help me with a hoovering. And I don't think he'd mind helping me out with that. Whereas I don't think Splat, the cat, my cat, would appreciate having a dragon chasing after him. And I don't think I'd want my curtains going up in flames either. So I definitely would rather have a robot. Which would you rather have? Talk to somebody at home, have a think to yourself, think about why. Workers of the week this week, class five, Millie May, class six, Evanina, class seven, Mahmood, and class eight, Caleb. I've heard you've all been working extremely hard at home, so extremely well done to those four children. Have a big round of applause. Keep up the hard work. I'm extremely impressed with the level of work that you're handing into school for us to see. And here is some of their work for everybody to see. So Millie May, I've got an example of your writing, your non-chronological report all about Samuel Pepys here. And I know full well that you made a fantastic 3D collage the other day, and you even made a cake of it. It looked absolutely delicious. Even Ina, you've done some super math, uh, maths work, excuse me. Um, Miss Barnett said she was very proud of you for that. In year three, Caleb, you've been inferring feelings, learning to infer somebody's feelings from a text. And then Mahmood, same again with reading, so excellent reading in year three. So very well done, if that was your work. House points. The winning team with the most house points this week is oh let me move the shade is Saturn oh, so blue team as I told you last week that's my team so very proud of you if you're in Saturn keep up the excellent work and keep on earning those house points you will remember from last week that our core value for this term is to take care of each other Myself, Miss Lee and Mrs Hilton set a competition two weeks ago now all about taking care and how we take care of each other and we wanted you to make a poster. So our winning poster across lower phase is Harry Jones out of Class 5 and I'm sure you will agree he's wrote a fantastic poem here all about caring and how we care for each other at Eastfield. So very well done if you're Harry. I will make sure I put your five house points onto Sims and you will be getting a certificate and something special through the post. So keep your eye on that. This week's theme, we are exploring safer, in, oh, safer internet day. Safer internet day is on Tuesday the 9th of February. And this year it's all about recognizing reliability. So the theme, is an internet we trust exploring reliability in the online world now reliability means it's trustworthy okay you can depend on it you can rely on it so why do you think that being able to trust online is important whether that's something you're reading something somebody you're talking to why is reliability important just have a think So, fake and inaccurate content on the internet is a big problem, so false information. Often, it is not filtered or marked clearly to say it is fake. 
learning how to spot fake content. Oh, not sure what's happening with my laptop then. And decide what can be believed is an important skill, especially as so much news and content is read online and spread through apps. So just have a think for me, which apps do you use? Which ones have you got downloaded on your phone if you have a phone? If not, which ones do your parents or perhaps teenagers in your household use? Are they reliable? Are they trustworthy? How do you know? So here are some important tips that you can start following to help you think about what you hear and read online. So number one, we need to think carefully about what we see and read. Can we find out more information? Do we know it's true? How do we know it's true? If we're not sure, we go going to look at other sources, other websites, have a look for a video or read a book. Are they all saying the same thing? Or do opinions differ or do the facts change depending on what you read? And finally, we need to remember to stay safe. Remember that people online are not always who they appear to be. So, just like last week, we're running a competition. Mr Hartley has set everybody across lower phase a to-do called Recognising Reliability. This to-do can be found on Purple Mash. We need to complete the to-do by adding pictures and writing sentences explaining about Safer Internet Day. So your to-do will come up like this. And I know you're all experts at Purple Mash. You've got some key words here that we've just talked through. There's your box for your picture and then you've got a box for some sentences underneath, okay? The winning to-do from each year group will win a lovely safety storybook. Make sure, though, that you submit your entry by handing in the to-do by Friday the 12th of February. So, that is this Friday, okay? And make sure you click, look, here we go, that big hand in button to make sure we've got your entry to be in with a chance of winning an e-safety storybook. If you're not sure if you've submitted your work and you want to check, feel free to ask your teachers or the adults who phone up to check in with you. Okay? Then last thing, I want you to stay tuned to this video to watch a film about what you can trust online to give you some more ideas and to teach you a little bit more about reliability. Stay safe, everybody, and as ever, if you need to get in touch, feel free to do so. Have a look at our video about me, cat. Some facts are true and some information is false. Can you decide which are true and which are false? How much do you know about meerkats? Here are four fascinating meerkat facts. A group of meerkats is known as a mob, gang or clan. As desert animals, meerkats need lots of water. They drink around six litres a day. Meerkats can grow up to a staggering 160 centimetres in height. That's the same as a gorilla. Meerkats are immune to some snake venom, which means they could take on a cobra. Want to know more about meerkats? Check out this site. Which facts were true and why? The mob clan and gang run because lots of animals do that, make mobs and gangs. And gangs. I thought it was true because when I watched a TV programme, I saw a bunch of meerkats and one meerkat in, a diff in different episodes take on a cobra and then there were just two halves of the cobra. Well, I think the fact about the meerkats in the water drinking six litres a day, I think that's false because meerkats are really small. How can they drink all that water? The false ones were um, that they can grow up to the size of a gorilla. Because meerkats are little small things. So the 
title um, at the start, it said fake going down on the bit, but not spelled, but not spelled correctly. How does it make you feel when you see false information? It makes me feel a little bit stupid and sad and a wee bit angry as well. Annoyed? Well, it makes me feel kind, kind of confused. How do you know what to trust online? Well, I would always check where it came from and who made it and ask a trusted adult and uh, just check check if anyone like any other trusted websites say the same thing if you really want to trust it you might want to go and ask like an adult or something if something seems too good to be true then normally it is i keep checking and checking and checking again to see if it's true because not everything you see on the internet will be true